All right, y'all. Everybody know Halloween is coming up. Anybody that's been watching my videos, y'all already seen this scene, but I'm going to say something different. So I'm going to pretty much be saying the same thing. Do your research on the history of Halloween. I got, I'm about to show y'all my lifting and everything, but I just want to throw that in there. Get as many people as aware as possible. Halloween is actually a satanic holiday. Um, it's a, it's disguised as trick or treat and fun and games. Everything's fun and games. Um, most people won't do the research, but I'm just saying that for the people that will, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you can't get across to everybody and I'm not the boss of anybody. You know, I'm not telling you what to do, what not to do, but I'm going to tell you we're not celebrating in my place. I already told everybody in my family, if you buy anything for my son for Halloween, you just wasted your money because we ain't doing it. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's like 2.30 in the morning. I see one car, two car, three cars. That's cool. Just pulling up at the gym. About to hit these dumbbell presses. Try to go pretty heavy. People pick up the trash. People just throw that stuff out of their car. That's why my car dirty. I used to do that. But I guess it's better. I don't know. Somebody pick it up. But you know what I'm saying? An empty parking lot usually means an empty gym. Let's go up in there and hit these presses, bruh. I really need to start working out right here. See how inclined that is? Like, you know how good I could do my abs on that? I don't know why I never work out in this part of the gym. As I bulk, I really need to, though. Because you got the punching bags, the heavy bags. You got the monkey bars up top. I should have showed that. But you got the tire flip simulator. You got the trampoline. You can boss the thing on. You got a, a, a array of stuff that I never use. I don't know why. I'm going to get more um, versatile with my stuff real quick. I'm going to do videos of that soon. Also, this place right here. I never use these uh, massage chairs. I never have used these massage chairs. I need to use more of the gym. Our gym is huge. And like, look, this is my favorite thing. Nobody. 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 We got these lights that come on. You see how the light just came on? Look at that light. As you walk past it, it comes on. That's the best look. That's the best feeling in the world. That means nobody's been there for a minute. Nobody. So today we're doing incline dumbbells and flat. I'm not using that bench, but still. I want to shoot for the 125s. I haven't hit these in probably a half a year um 105s or below um would be cool 100s would be cool but at least i want to get the 105s or the 100s okay i'm doing an incline and i'm gonna show you why i'm using that particular incline because it's right across from the heavy weights you don't want to have to travel from way that way or way that way when you got you know what i'm saying these heavy weights in your hand if you want to do some good reps I'm still pretty much warming up. I didn't show every set because I had to go to work. And right now, I'm about to have to go to work right now. I'm doing a voiceover. This is like a couple hours later. These are 70s. On incline, that's some pretty good weight. But I don't want to do a whole bunch of reps because I want to go up in weight. And like I said, I'm shooting for the 125. So, on flat though. I'm going to do my incline until it's very heavy. And then I'm going to flatten it. So, easy reps. Still kind of warming up. Um, there's pros and cons to either going barbell or dumbbell. See, with dumbbells, I can throw them to the side. Barbell, you, if you're going too heavy, you're going to need a spotter. Dumbbells, it don't matter how heavy I'm going, I don't need a spotter. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people do use a spotter still because they want help on a liftoff. I feel like it's supposed to be me against the weights. See, you got incline and you got flat. Incline and flat. I had just put some oil in my hair too, so. Um, then this is barbell. With barbell, you get stuck under that bar, 
you ain't throwing it off of you. There's different ways to get it off of you. Then you got incline barbell. My my um opinion, the incline barbell is the hardest of all benches, uh, all chest press benches. Um, the incline, the flat barbell is the easiest. Dumbbells are hard. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing 125 pound dumbbells together, that's what, 250? 250 on the dumbbells is twice as hard as it is on the barbell. 250 pounds on the barbell, I get that up and down a couple reps like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? People that don't lift will try to tell you, oh, this is a no. And these are the 80s. Still relatively easy. But I think I only got three or four, five reps maybe. Why? Because I want to save some in the tank for the next set. I pause at the bottom. I make sure I do a full rep. That's why they call me repping. Repping time. I do full reps. People do cheat reps. Your butt come off the bench. You're not really doing the workout. People do half squats. Just so they can do some heavier weight. They cheat. Do not cheat with your workouts, all right? You know what I'm saying? Cheat curls have... No, I, don't, I don't even like doing those. I don't. I like doing full reps. I want it to actually count. You see my arms? How did I build those? With full reps. Okay, these are the 95s. Did the 95s on incline. Um, I actually haven't done that in a long time. Um, threw them down because I was like, you know what? Nah. <laughs> so, now I'm going to uh, show y'all how it looks to pick these up. A lot of people are like, what's the difference, man, between heavyweight and lightweight? Exactly what it sounds like. Heavyweight is different than lightweight because it's heavy. Moving these from here to there. It's heavy. That's one of the, um, it's part of your workout, really. I mean, I mean, we got to remember what we're doing. We're lifting weights. Just doing that right there is going to help you get stronger. Put your weights back, man. It's going to help your deadlift. <laughs> Kettlebell swing or something like that. Not really, but, I mean, yeah, it will help, but I'm just saying, man. Putting your weights back, that's why you see a lot of people with weights all over the gym. I'm like, man, it must have been some weak half repping. Half stepping people, man. Not to talk crap, but it's part of the workout. Putting your weights back is part of the workout. All right, so we're going to do flat now. Um, I'm going to start with these 105s. I probably should start with these 110s, though. I think I'm going to start with the 105s. And I'm going to skip the 110s and then go to the 115s. Um, I was going to put my camera right there, but I'm going to move it right here because that's kind of in the way. Put my camera right here. And the heavier the weights are, the more focused. Getting the weights to the bench and putting them back is actually sometimes harder than actually pressing them. So right now I'm over there trying to get the weights. And I enter the scene now. Okay, these are the 105s. Sit down where you see how big they are, you know what I'm saying? These ain't no 15 pound dumbbells, you know what I'm saying? So this is usually when people start coming to talk to me if there was people in the gym. Right now I'm making sure my gloves are right, make sure my head is right. Make sure I'm listening to all my cues, remember everything, scooting up. So when I lay back down, my head won't be coming off the bench. Make sure I'm supported right. Cause you gotta make sure everything is right. Because if these fall on your face, you're probably gonna die. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't just a fail. You can really get hurt. You know what I'm saying? So you carefully do that. These are the 105s. Like butter. Like butter. Like butter. But I didn't do a lot of reps. Why? Because I want to go up in weight. Man, I'm starting to get a gut. Not really. A lot of times, um, I drink like a gallon of liquid before I come to the gym because it helps me press heavier. Um, that's one of my tips. If y'all think I'm fat or something like that, I'm going to link below my uh, my physique, um, my transformation. 
so y'all can see me bulking and cutting and tell the difference. It's the difference between bulking and cutting. It's part of the game, man. It's part of the game, especially as a natural lifter. I want to switch up my camera angle right here and show y'all from the um from behind. There's no right way of saying that, so <laughs> you know, pause. But um, show y'all from from this angle, and I was gonna go for the 115s. I come into the scene here. You can see me in the mirror. See me in the mirror? Like, where did he go? I should have edited some of that out. But yeah, uh when you grab when you approach these weights, your mindset has to be serious. A lot of people want to play in the gym. When you're the heavier you're going, that's why I say I don't really, you know what I'm saying, talk in the gym or I try to be serious. People, oh, you're too serious. Man, your your body is on the line. Your life is on the line. People have died with weights falling on their face before. You don't play. I picked them up. My spider senses told me, put them back. I was going to go with the 115s. What I should have done was, instead of jumping from 105s to 115s, I should have went straight with 110s. Um, I would have probably done them. I wanted to do 125s today, but that's not not gonna happen. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go light. I'm gonna go 100s and go on back, cause I don't have time to really like try to focus and everything. I gotta, like I said, I gotta go to work. You know what I'm saying? I got videos of me doing a 125 for people to think, oh, you weak. But yeah, I really need to use that right there. Look at those monkey bars. I need to use. I never used this area before. We got a huge gym. This Gold's gym is bigger than the other one I go to. Which one do I like better? For different things, different things. Like I say, I barbell bench here. No, I dumbbell bench here, and I barbell bench on in the other gym. Um, and I do other workouts too for people that all oh, you all you been showing is your bench all the time. Like, ooh, ooh. like come on, man. I know what I'm talking about. I got videos about everything. I got I got squat videos. I got deadlift videos. I got videos that ain't even about fitness. Go play my lottery playlist. All right, y'all. Another satisfying workout. Um, pro tip. I'm going to go back to telling y'all pro tips every video. Pro tip. Um, as I was leaving the gym, I only got a one conversation, you know, and it wasn't during my workout. Shout out to the homeboy. He said uh, he ain't seen me since the old goals. And I remember him. He was cool. And, uh, pro tip because most of the people that watch me are smaller youtubers you know like me um every chance you get to tell somebody word of mouth about your channel do it every chance you get every opportunity you get do it do it somebody pulling up i always say that's my cue to leave when people start coming in but comment, like, subscribe, share, holla back at your boy, PC.